Dengan adanya daycare ini, terbantu sekali untuk karyawati. Bener-bener perusahaan itu dan manajemen dan BOD-nya itu care. Awal tahun 2017 dan sebelumnya saya sebagai Chief Operation Officer pada bisnis tambang di Sinema Mining juga Sebagai CEO itu ada memanage organisasi bagaimana kita memanage di antara manager dan direksi kita Saya memberikan kesempatan kepada karyawan-karyawan yang sudah berkarya bersama kita untuk bertemu bersama-sama Pesan dan harapan saya adalah saya ingin wanita pekerja itu bisa meningkatkan kualitas dan kapabilitas diri sehingga kita sebagai wanita juga dapat disamakan ataupun disejajarkan dengan pola pemikirannya dengan pekerja-pekerja tambang yang dimiliki oleh kaum pria gitu. Kesempatan datang hanya sekali. Kalau boleh tahu, ada apa sih di handphonenya? Ini loh mbak, saya lagi belajar di aplikasi Melerni. Oh, lagi belajar toh. Gini-gini kan aku tuh pengen nambah ilmu, biar sukses gitu loh. Ya nggak ada kan yang namanya kata terlambat untuk belajar. Wah, bener banget tuh. Bootcamp ini adalah salah satu program yang terbaik saya kira karena dia menggabungkan e, pembelajaran dalam kelas dan pengalaman kerja secara langsung. Saya percaya siklus sambil belajar kerja ini adalah e, kurikulum yang paling ampuh untuk hidup nyata kita ini. Sinamax Mining, we have a large projects related to digital mining and uh, many other new initiatives. Especially the industry 4.0, we uh, we have a lot of work to do, and for this we need a lot of resources. With this, with in mining, we see a lot of opportunities wherein we can automate the mining uh, processes. We can uh, use technology to help in improvement of operations and safety in mining. Sinaras Mining berkolaborasi dengan Enigma untuk mengadakan program ini secara berkesinambungan. Untuk itu Sinar Mas Mining juga memberikan program ini sangat eksklusif mulai dari fasilitas belajar, kemudian mulai dari fasilitas e, tempat tinggal dan peralatan serta teknologi. So, saya mengajak semua teman-teman baik itu lulusan SMK, SMA untuk bergabung dalam program e, coding bootcamp ini yang diselenggarakan oleh Enigma supaya ke depan kita bisa melihat masa depan daripada bukan hanya untuk perusahaan tapi untuk anak-anak bangsa yang kita cintai ini. Selamat untuk 18 orang yang memang sudah terpilih mengikuti program Training as a Services IT Bootcamp Enigma Camp dan Sinar Mas Mining. Harapan saya untuk trainee yang memang sudah join di program Training as a Services di Sinar Mas Mining untuk terus belajar, kemudian serius di kelas, kemudian keep improve juga baik nanti pada waktu di kelas maupun sudah nanti sudah lulus dan mulai bekerja di Sinar Mas Mining.
Uh, hello, good afternoon, uh, students. Thank you for taking time to actually join us for this afternoon webinar. Okay, I am Karine from Center for Future Ready Graduates. Uh, I'm from the NUS uh, Career Services. Uh, I do know that actually in this webinar, we also actually have other students from other local universities who actually join us this afternoon. Thank you for actually joining us. Yeah, so, um, so Adin, could you actually fresh on the slides now? Uh, hold on a second, Sims. Uh, Aden has a connection problem. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. So this afternoon, we are pleased to have our cinemas mining to actually share with us actually on uh, the programs that they actually have um, to share with our students. So uh, let's actually welcome today. This afternoon, we have three speakers with us. We have uh, Widya. Uh, we have uh, Aria and Tina as well. So uh, in the next few slides, actually let me share with you on our ground rules as well as um, the speaker and their profiles. Okay, so first, before we actually start off the session, do allow me to actually share some house rules and admin with you. So uh, we hope to have this uh, session a very interactive one. So we hope to have actually your camera to switch on if you have any questions, you may actually start using the chat functions to actually key in your questions now. So any point of time when you have questions, you may start keying in. And then uh, if you have any uh, questions, you would like to actually speak to the speaker, you may actually use uh, the raise hands functions as well as to actually speak through the microphone uh, during the Q&A session. Uh, we hope that everyone can actually participate the, uh, participate actively in all the activities that we have uh, during this webinar. So be curious and ask questions. And last but not least, just enjoy the session today. Okay, so for the first speaker today, we have our Widya Kusuma. He's actually a senior HR manager who have actually various years of experience, uh, be it actually from the strategy management operation and asset management uh, and logistic management as well. So he also actually have an MBA actually from uh, one of the local university. Okay, so let me share the second speaker. Okay, the second speaker we have today is um, Tina Melinda. She is the head of the learning and development of uh, Cinemas Mining. So below you can actually see some of actually the education and certifications that we, she has. So the last speaker we have for today is Aya. She's the talent acquisition manager and she has um, several years of uh, experience in project management as well as in recruitment uh, as a consultant as well as uh, in diff, uh, advisor in different company. So first, let me actually pass the floor back to uh, Widya, uh, Park Widya, who will actually uh, start off the first um, introduction of uh, the session. Uh, Park Widya, can I pass over the floor to you? Hi, Karen. Thank you very much. Uh, I welcome all the participants of this uh, webinar this afternoon. We are glad to, I mean, to have a communication or contact uh, with you all uh, this afternoon. Basically, we want to share about what is the Sinarmas Mining, our company with all the business unit. Uh, hopefully, uh, with all of this uh, information, uh, most of you are interested to, I mean, yeah, to join with uh, our company. So we will share you all the details about how to, I mean, to apply and, and uh, all the things. Okay, let's start with the, I mean, the short video about uh, our company profile, please.
okay, uh, that's all our short video uh, describing what is the Sinar Mas Mining. Before I start my detailed uh, information about our company, I want to inform that we just recently uh, received an award from the HR Asia. HR Asia is uh, I mean, the regional uh, magazine uh, which uh, I mean, uh, in, the, in the HR area. And then we are awarded for the best company to work for in Asia 2021. So this is actually the third consecutive year. So we already received it uh, every year from 2019, 20, and this year. Also, in the same time, we received the award for the most caring company. Yeah, this is the second consecutive year. So it started from last year until this year. So this is a really uh, good for us and also maybe can be a reference for you to join with our company. Okay, next. Okay, uh, three of us will, I mean, we'll brief about different things. Uh, from my part, I will give you an overview about what is our business at the moment and also what is our planning in the future to maintain our sustainability in the business. Okay, please. Okay, uh, we can see in this slide, uh, our company, Sinarmas Mining, is part of the big uh, conglomerate Sinarmas, and it's already uh, started, initiated in 2006 uh, with the asset at the time around $200 million, yeah, but it grew exponentially within 10 years in 2016. Uh, the asset grow into two billion or ten times yeah within ten years, and we are now is at really on the way to achieve the target in two thousand and twenty six. Uh, the target is uh, twenty billion. So if we see within twenty years, actually, uh, the target is stretched almost hundred times. This is a really, uh, really, really good. Uh, I mean, the growth yeah for for a business. So at the moment, uh, we manage uh, around 20 company with uh, 20,000 uh, employee, yeah, direct and indirect, with the multiple sites in Indonesia or even though in the overseas. Uh, okay, we move to the in the right hand uh, slide because uh, most of us, uh, most of you know the name is Sinarmas Mining. So maybe the perception is our business is only about the mining. Uh, okay, I will uh, inform you. Our corporation actually have a three main pillar. Yeah, so in the left side, the first uh, pillar is about the energy and resources. Of course, uh, at the moment, uh, our company is a top producer of coal in Indonesia. Uh, but besides coal, we also have plenty of the other resources like uh, nickel, bauxite, iron, and so on. Because we are on the way to to be into the electronic vehicle battery. So this is the preparation into that uh, business. And beside the, I mean, the, uh, I mean the, the normal energy business, we also uh, into the new renewable energy business. We also have some of the project for the solar panel energy for electrification. And the last part, we also have the logistic business to deliver all of our product to our client. That's the first uh, pillar in our corporation. The second pillar is, is in the center one. This is the new things that we develop to, I mean, to maintain our sustainability in the future. So basically, the second pillar is uh, based on digital and technology. Yeah. So for all of you who are interested in the technology, digital, computer, science, actually, we have the second pillar for you to, I mean, to join in our company. So basically, all of the, I mean, the business like finance, insurance, or any asset management, asset management, and everything is uh, we 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 build based on the technology, digital, and also we build a lot of uh, startup in this pillar. And then the third part is the on the right hand is the about lifestyle on consumer. So even though we are the name is uh, mining, but actually we have a one pillar. Yeah, this is for our future business as well. So if we have a media streaming, if you know about the Genflix, is actually um, similar with the Netflix. We also have the, I mean, the healthcare business, and also we have the farming business, and also the, I mean, for the cattle farm business. 
So the, all of these three pillars is, is to maintain our business sustainable from now until the future. So what is the consequence of uh, this uh, growth? Yeah, the exponential growth and then the, and then these uh, pillars. In the future, in the 2026, we projected to have we need a 300 business leader yeah, to support our business portfolio. Okay, next. This is the challenge uh, we face here yeah, to I mean to 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 reach the 300 business leader by 2026 because we operate not only in Indonesia. So how we manage that? The fulfillment of the future leaders are through the internal development. So all of the current employee also we are we will develop to be a future leader. Uh, my colleagues uh, Tina will explain more detail about this thing. And also we uh, do the external recruitment for the professional uh, to fill all the gaps uh, that we face uh, now. But our forecast in the future, sixty percent of our uh, current business leader. I need a successor, and we targeted fifty percent will fulfill by the internal. Hence, this is the purpose uh, for us to rec to recruit the young graduate uh, talent uh, who willing to join our company and maybe can follow the fast track program. The fast track program is the program we design within five to ten years. Someone from the first time they join, maybe they can be a leader in the one of our business unit. Okay, next we go to the next information. Okay. We also have a program, we call it as the global talent mobility because we operate globally, not only in Indonesia, we also have in other country, like you see in the left hand side. We have some in the office in the Singapore, Australia, in the Africa, and the Northern Asia. So this is uh, one of our challenges, how to I mean to fulfill our talent uh, in those area. Uh, actually, uh, the program uh, we, we call the global family will rotate our talent across the border. Uh, and then the program is consists of uh, three types. The first one is a full assignment. So basically you will be an expatriate either in Indonesia or in overseas. And then also there's a talent development and talent exchange program. This is a short program within six months uh, for someone to learn about uh, our company or in the overseas or Indonesia and to get the knowledge there. And when they going back to the existing job, they will be more uh, I mean, more well known yeah, about, about many, many things. Okay, uh, at the moment, uh, this year we have around eight uh, participants who will join the Global Talent Mobility for the rotation to Australia. So they, they will immediately depart to Australia once the, I mean, the border is open, hopefully soon after the pandemic is uh, declining. Okay, uh, we can move to the next slide. Okay. Uh, this is what we build, uh, I mean, we call it an employee value proposition or EVP. This is, is actually how our secret sauce yeah, to make sure that talent is really interested to join our company instead of the competitor. Basically, we mix all four of the main, main things yeah, to be into one, uh, one uh, working ecosystem. The first one is a great company. Yeah, how to make sure that you are working in the in the great company, and then you also work with the great people and get the great job, and at the end you have a good reward yeah, or a great reward. So the combination of these uh, four uh, items will, I mean, will differentiate our company to the others. Okay, let's we move to the first one. Okay, next. Okay, uh, working in the Sinarmas mining is not only about uh, do your task and responsibility. Actually, uh, you will balance, you will get the balanced ecosystem, our balanced working ecosystem that enables uh, employee or employee to stay productive while continuing delivering their task and responsibility. We can see in this uh, slide about what is our activity beside our normal job. Yeah, you can you can contribute to the social impact uh, like 
we have some project in the past like uh, solar panel in the rural area economy development we built also the school or in a polytechnic in the in the our one of our main sites we also have a recognition program like uh, last year during the beginning uh, to make sure they are in a good condition yeah, uh, to, to face the, the pandemic. We also build a good or nice uh, office environment uh, to make sure you or our or all of our employees working in the, in the in the comfort and productive uh, as well. Okay, we move to the next slide. Okay, next. Okay, this is some of the, our regular activity beside the normal job. Uh, we have a town hall, sports activity, uh, religions activity like Christmas, Ramadan. Also, we have a, like a, even the ex external activity like team bonding uh, and webinar spell and many, many, many uh, things. Okay, next. Okay, uh, basically our people uh, also contribute actively in the philanthropy and social action to balance their personal career and social impact. Working in seniors mining also uh, give you an opportunity for each employee to participate actively in social activity and make a better, a better future. Uh, next uh, slide. We also uh, have uh, investment in the research and development and establishment of the technology startup. Rest with the with the, our new business, we also can uh, involve in that uh, area. Okay, next slide, uh, please. Oh, sorry, there's a problem. Okay, this is our the other uh, activity in our company. Uh, we receive we receive a lot of uh, reward, yeah, and recognition. We also have a regular webinar uh, to publish what we have uh, done in our company, and also benchmarking with uh, other company. Uh, this is really interesting. You can also access all this uh, event in our social media. Okay, next one. Okay, the last, uh, last part of uh, my presentation is about the reward. Uh, basically, our compensation and benefit uh, obviously above the industry market since our people knows that everyone has a chance to achieve up to 90% of percentile. So we can see this is the highest in the market. And despite the condition of pandemic uh, last year, our company still commit to deliver all the obligation to employee even though uh, we give sons uh, vaccination, we support for the day of compensation, we support for the transportation, and if our employee also have problem with their financial team, we support with the loan uh, restructuring. So that's uh, basically uh, the overview of our company from the business side, also from the what we have done in the I mean in the in the daily things not only for the regular job, but also social uh, things. So you can see uh, working in our company is actually a balanced uh, combination between uh, many aspects. And yeah, as, as we can see in the, in the beginning, our company is awarded the, the best company to work for for the three consecutive year. Okay, the next part uh, about the learning and development will be delivered by my colleague, uh, Mbak Tina, please, Mbak Tina, uh, I give it to you. Okay, thank you, Pak Widya. Hello, everyone. It is my pleasure to be a part of this session. My name is Tina. Uh, as uh, Karin uh, mentioned earlier, yeah, I'm very happy to meet you all, even though this is virtually. Yeah. Okay, without further ado, uh, let's start the session. Yeah. I will begin with explaining 
what and how the learning ecosystem in Sinarma. So uh, with this learning ecosystem, it is a big opportunity to you guys, if you join Sinarma Mining, to develop not only your career, but also to develop yourself as a personal, as a professional. Yeah. Now, uh, before we talking about our framework, yeah, uh, that I will show uh, on the next slide, I will uh, explain first about a learning ecosystem. Yeah, first of all, we need to understand what is learning ecosystem. Yeah, before we uh, look in deep. Uh, about the initiative and the strategy in Sinarmas Mining. So talking about learning ecosystem, it is a system where people, content, and also technology and culture and strategy work together yeah, to deliver the development itself that can help organization to achieve the target. So the impact of the program will boost the uh, organizational uh, performance. That's why we build comprehensive and sustainable learning ecosystem in Sinarmas Mining. As you see in this uh, framework, uh, it is contained not only people yeah, as a stakeholder, but also external, ex uh, external stakeholder like university, institution. This is a part of our ecosystem. Yeah, we engage with so many massive open online course or we know MOOC that uh, prepare content. That's why in this ecosystem, we also leverage the technology by developing our digital platform. Yeah, as Bersin said, if you ever read the article, they said that currently, yeah, to uh, improve self and also engage the millennials and uh, the young age, you need to uh, have the digital platform that beyond learning management system. Currently in Sinarmas Mining, we have it. We have a learning experience program that we develop based on artificial intelligence. So whenever you open our learning, yeah, our digital learning, uh, it will recommend some courses or some uh, article or some content that related to your aspiration, to your needs, and also to your uh, job requirement. So this is a great uh, digital platform that we have. So this digital platform is for inclusive learning and development program. As you see on the right side, there is an inclusive learning and development program in uh, our business. What it means? It means that we give the same opportunity to all employee without any differentiate. Yeah. So anyone can learn anytime, anywhere because through self-paced learning, anyone can access all the content, not only uh, national or uh, local content, but also international content. Because like I said earlier, we uh, you know, uh, engage with international uh, MOOC. So there will be a certification from MIT, Stanford, or let's say uh, Harvard. We have it all in uh, our system. And we also engage with Ecornell University. So if you're looking for the company where you can learn from many sources, yeah, here we are, yeah. As far as uh, Vidya said uh, earlier that we got an award for S, uh, HR Asia, the best work yeah, uh, in Asia. And you know, the highest score in uh, evaluation is about development itself. So uh, compared to above 200 and 400 company, uh, we have the highest score for uh, people and development because we really care for our uh, capability teams improvement, not only to upskilling, but also to gather new skill because uh, our industry, our pillar is very various, start from energy and mining, financial service, we have it all. So uh, this is, a great opportunity to you, yeah, to uh, you know, have various experience, yeah, and multiple industry, uh, like Pak Widya uh, mentioned in uh, his uh, presentation, yeah. And if you see the second one, 
on the left uh, side of this framework, you can see exclusive learning. What it what it means, yeah? Exclusive learning is a program that uh, we give to our talent pool, to high potential uh, person, to the best uh, performer in our organization. So this is the fast track to be a future leader. Yeah, but we did mention that maybe uh, if you follow uh, this fast track, your career to be a CEO will very fast, yeah, faster comparing to another uh, person. But the requirement is all also there, yeah. You need to perform, you need to handle many projects, various projects, and of course, we you need to have the character that I will share after this slide, yeah. And if you see the in the on the bottom of this uh, framework, you can see about the coaching, mentoring, and also uh, the ecosystem, learning ecosystem, and also the technology that we've uh, used. Yeah? This is uh, the way we build a culture. This is a strategy that we mix together with people. Yeah, Because we do believe that if you want to success, you need to invest to your people because your people in matters. Yeah? This is what we believe in our company. And next, uh, what is the criteria to be success in uh, Sinar Mass Mining? Yeah, we have so uh, you know a requirement and character that we say three C, and also six values. We can uh, see for the next yeah the next slide yeah. This is the requirement to be a leader in our company. Yeah, first is main character. This is the first basic requirement we want all of the organization member have winning attitude what is winning attitude so you believe that you will success if you give an effort and if you need the support we will prepare you a mentor a coach from internal from external so the the things is inside yourself how you believe that you can win even though maybe sometimes yeah to achieve the long term you will fail somehow you will uh, see the failure but in our company failure is thing that you can see for improvement so you can learn from that you can learn from what you have done so in our learning yeah 70 percent is based on on the job training based on the project base because we want people learn from experience and then if you have the winning spirit, the winning attitude, the next is you need to bounce back. If you have the basketball and you dribble it, the basketball will pop up into high and go down. This is the bounce back. If you fail, if you have the something that you think this is not working, you need to get back. You need to uh, stand and uh, quickly rise yeah, from difficult problems. yeah. In this era, we do believe there are so many challenges. There are so many things that we need to face. But with bounce back, it is, doesn't matter anymore because we have the spirit to quickly rise. Yeah? And the third character that we required in Sinarmas Mining is adversity question. How you use your intelligence to a positive way, how you collaborate, how you uh, build a teamwork and you use everything your research yeah, to, uh, you know, to uh, share the best of you. So this is the change way of thinking. You need to uh, not fix mindset, but growth mindset. We required it because, you know, changes is everywhere. We go faster. Like Pawidia said that our business grows very uh, rapidly. So this is the quality of the member that we uh, hope uh, can be performed. Yeah? Uh, and uh, this quality, the character is embedded with our learning development program, especially in leadership development program. Yeah. Beside the main character, we also build 
uh, the six values. You know, six values is the values that set by our founders, Pak Eka Cipta, and this is required not only to our uh, pillar, but also in another pillar like bank, insurance, all of Sinomas group required these six values. And all uh, the program is embedded with these uh, values because we want people have a behavior uh, behavior yeah have the character based on six values like have integrity commitment innovation positive attitude continuous improvement and loyal why because we want yeah a sinner have a synergy with the uh, all members with the same character with the uh, same values so we can achieve the target uh, you know faster and of course in the best quality because the best people is there so if our BOD want to know whether you have the character whether you have the values and whether you have the performance we have the tools to evaluate it first we have the performance evaluation this is a true digital uh, platform yeah we have impact so uh, the bod and uh, management can see yeah uh, what is your performance how you can achieve the kpi your project assignment and also the qualitative uh, six factors that you uh, have yeah so this is uh, really help us to minimize the subjective uh, yeah so it is become more objective because we uh, see the quantitative uh, aspect not only qualitative and beside it we also recognize the potential so if we want to looking for future leader in our company we also assess the knowledge the skills the attribute and the experience yeah so uh, if you want to be a part of our member make sure you have the patient to be like this to meet this character to adopt these values yeah this if this is synergized with your values with your character so do not hesitate just apply and then become our member yeah the the process of uh, how to be our member, yeah, Mbak Arya in next session will explain it. But before I go there, I will explain also uh, our commitment, organizational commitment to deploy the leadership development program is very huge. Yeah, in this uh, slide, I will show you that we have a comprehensive uh, development program. Yeah, the beauty of this program is, you know, we have not only a uh, in class learning, but also we prepare a mentor and coach for you to do your project. The mentor and coach come from internal, but also come from external, like our tip parties, maybe from SMU last, last year, yeah, if I was not mistaken. Oh, last two years, we engage with a uh, Singapore Management University, yeah, to deploy this program. So they prepare the mentor and also they prepare the project during this program. The, this program, uh, duration is about uh, six up to one year program and after this program you will have a progressive career in our company this is the program from uh, entry level like you uh, see uh, at the bottom yeah gdp graduate development program uh, this is the first level yeah and then there is a middle uh, management program and then ECDP, LDP, and SLDP. If you see, this is a you know like milestone. So when you start with uh, FADP, like uh, in this year we will open the FD, FADP, a uh, financial analyst development program. Then you will start the entry level, but do not uh, worry it, yeah, because we uh, will uh, provide the you know the well, fast track for you because the one who can enter this program is talent yeah we will select it very uh, careful because we will maintain it very careful also so this is the program that we've deployed you can see we have uh, eight program for first level yeah gdp one two three and there are uh, for fidp we have two batches fidp one and fidp two and now we will open for FRDP3. 
and for uh, you know MDP we also have uh, one batch and ACDP is three batches uh, and we do this uh, regularly yeah because we uh, really care about people and if you really want to know how to be a part of this program then my partner Arya will explain uh, how you can join this program I will give the control to Arya silakan Mbak Arya Hi Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Tina, for your uh, really, really uh, interesting explanation about the program and about with you before about our company. Now we are moving forward. We are. Uh, I'm Arya from Talent Acquisition in Sinarmas Mining Group. So I would like to share uh, to you about how you set up your professional career at your twenties. Yeah. So uh, as you know that uh, you are. Now, officially, as a young adult and uh, being independent, also you have a lot of energy uh, to set up your career. But uh, at this age, you also uh, have facing uh, an uncertainty, especially uh, during this pandemic, change whole our life, including you as a fresher. So how you can prepare it uh, with the uncertainty things and then how you can uh, join with the organization that you are uh, really keen to join with them. So uh, we would like to sharing to you about uh, how to set up your career and also the tips and tricks to enter your career as a professional. Okay, so this is um, uh, what we believe in Sinarmas Mining Group that uh, can uh, you, maybe you can start uh, to set up your career. The first thing is you have to discover your patience. After you found your patience and then you are being passionate about something, maybe you can um, you can uh, set up your career goals and then you can share to the company that you are being applied. And then because the employers sometimes only recruit about their uh, about after that, you can recognize your strong assets. So if you focus to your uh, strong asset, you will be able to open to uh, new opportunities and then you can try to uh, new things and then maybe you can change uh, your belief. Uh, so uh, after you think that you can uh, develop your strong assets. Yeah, and then... Uh, after that, you can join a company that represents your values. And then uh, as per Matinas before I mentioned that we have six values in Sinarmas Mining. And then if you think that uh, you look uh, a company that you can uh, match your values with your personal values, maybe you can stay longer in that company and then you can uh, you can uh, more uh, satisfying about the job, about the, about the company, and then you can grow together with the company. And then Another thing that you have to look the company that provide you with the graduates or analyst development program. Because if you join with this program, you can develop your potential or stronger uh, the strongest asset uh, that you have. So uh, you can uh, you can develop more. You can enhance your knowledge, and then uh, you can fit in with the company itself uh, during the uh, you, during your uh, development program, and then. The first thing that after you join with the development program or with the company, you can find a mentor, mentor or a uh, mentor that you can uh, sharing, uh, you can uh, ask someone for an advice. So an example, if you want to have a career as a financial analyst, you can uh, you can ask uh, with the expertise in the company how uh, that they Oh, I'm so sorry. I sorry, guess sorry. Seems uh, yeah. Arya uh, has a problem with uh, with his connection. Or well, while waiting her to come yeah. back, I will mm -hmm. support her. Yeah, basically. Uh, sorry, Pawidia. Okay, Arya's back. Oh, hello, okay, Arya is back. Okay, please. You can continue. Yeah, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Pardon about my breaking because my internet connection is not good recently. So maybe uh, can you share the screen again? 
Aden, please. The screen is there, Aya, so you can uh, continue from find a mentor and be a remora. Mm. Okay, so final, okay, so final mentor, yeah, so, and be a remora. You know, remora is a, is a sucker fish that uh, the little fish is attached to the a big fish like shark. So uh, if you can spot a talent in your, uh, in the organization, so you can follow them, you can uh, be corporate with them, and then you can uh, grow together with them. So you have to follow a good talent that you think that can uh, develop you as a personal and professional. And then the last thing that you have to diversify your work. You have to, uh, you have to, hello? Yes, continue, continue. Hello? Let's continue, Arya. Yeah, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah you can join the company that uh, support you uh, to create the the environment that you can learn multiple skills, multiple knowledge, all fields and all the industries. Uh, based on what Widya mentioned before, we do have a lot of business units uh, from energy, uh, renewable energy, financial technology, finance services, and then uh, another uh, business that we have uh, set up and then uh, for the startup business and matured business currently. So uh, that's all for the how you can uh, set up your uh, career and then move along with the tips and tricks from us. So your future actually it starts from now. So why not you building your personal branding right now? So publish a, like a, publish an article or share your uh, positive activities in your social medias, like your IG, your Facebook or anything. And then uh, you can uh, share your uh, recent uh, activities in a uh, social life and everything. And then uh, you can join a professional network because there's a lot of uh, professional network currently from the and any uh, all backgrounds like financial, technology. I believe there's a lot of professional network. So be participate in, be a member for that uh, network. Okay, and then you can uh, taking a part in uh, social activities or um, or join hackathon for a tech a background and then connect with your alumni or you can connect with your uh, another uh, colleagues in another from another university and then why not you start uh, doing a side uh, project so uh, during in your last semester or after you graduate uh, from your uni why you don't uh, look for the projects that relevant to your background especially you can do a freelancer or researcher or maybe part-time officer in a one a company or organization and then the first thing that you have to keep learning and then you have to stay updated with the market trends and then you can access like tina mentioned before that you can access uh mooc we do have a lot of like from edx uh, coursera and, and and everything and then uh, maybe you can access a uh, ebook or youtube or uh, you can follow someone uh that uh, very famous in one industry and then you can follow them and then you can start to uh, watching their uh, live I, uh, IG story or Facebook, anything. And then the last thing that you have to do is keep your resume always updated. Okay, so the employer can see that you are really very um, up to date and then uh, you, you always uh, up to date your skill, taking new certification and anything. So the employers will interest to uh, contact you. Uh, to join with them, okay? And then uh, I was sharing about how you can join with us. Yeah, after you, maybe you can uh, see about how you can start up your career and then tips and tricks about the how to enter the uh, professional life. Maybe if you think that Sinarma's mining will accommodate all, so you can join with our program. We have two uh, running programs right now, uh, like Tina mentioned before, that we have a FADP, Financial Analyst Development Program, now running for batch three. And then for tech development program, we just uh, started for this uh, 
program because we've seen that there's a lot of needs in our uh, business units and to support our uh, current and uh, next uh, business unit. So this is uh, what can I share about the process a bit in Sinarmas Mining. So you can simply click to the link and then after your uh, resume uh, come in and then we will see, we will do sourcing. After your resume, it's a fit with the requirements. We will contact you to do a psychological test. And then after uh, you pass with the, uh, the requirement of the psychological test, we will invite you for another test is the GMAT. And then we are looking someone with minimum 450 uh, score. And then we can uh, invite, move along uh, with another process is a committee interview, three, uh, three interviews uh, by a mentor, business unit head, and then our C-level, and also with the HR, our C, uh, HRO. And then uh, after you finish all and then you are qualified, we can uh, invite you for a medical checkup uh, offering and then you can join with us. So if you think that you would like to always, uh, okay, if you would like to stay in updates with our uh, recent vacancies or recent activities from our, uh, from our company, group company, maybe you can follow us on our social medias. We have uh, several social medias that we always uh, update our uh, activities there. Uh, you can follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, Spotify. We have a podcast there, uh, series, and then Facebook, YouTube, our website itself, and then TikTok. So that's all from me. And then it's all from us, I think. Uh, maybe if you have uh, any other questions that I can refer to uh, Karin. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Park Media. Thank you, actually, uh, Tina. And thank you, Aria, for actually the comprehensive uh, sharing for this afternoon. Yeah, so actually now we have a better idea, I guess, for everyone to know about actually what is the programs that actually uh, that uh, you could actually apply actually if you have actually uh, you know you want to actually join uh, Sinmas Mining. So before we actually uh, you know go to the next segment, uh, there's this actual link uh, in the chat room where you can actually uh, uh, register for uh, I guess uh, for the programs. So maybe you can actually take a look, uh, you know, at the link and actually uh, feel free to actually apply. And at the meanwhile, actually, uh, later part, we have the Q&A session. Feel free to actually check with us uh, what are the questions that you have. But I, thanks for your participation. I do see that there's some questions that is coming up in the Q&A session where we will address later. Yeah. So, um, okay, so before we actually uh, go to the Q&A session, there will be a short break as well as a short uh, videos that we want to share with you. Yeah, so uh, perhaps we can actually uh, share the video now.
Wow, that's a very nice office. Actually, me myself would like to actually work in the company too. Yeah. Okay. Please, so please, 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 carry it. You might join. <laughs> Visit our company yeah, once in a while. That's a very nice environment, really. Yeah. That's actually very comprehensive. Uh, really, there's a uh, like gaming. Uh, there's actually a nursing room as well. Wow. Um, that's actually one of our. Usually, it's our one of our dream company. I would say. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's actually go on to the next segment, which is the Q&A session. Uh, but before we start, uh, another reminder again, uh, uh, just actually click on the link uh, the, for the registration. Yeah, so um, okay, I do see that there's quite a number of um, questions that are in the chat. Uh, first one, I would say actually is from uh, Amel. Uh, Okay, so actually the question is in um, Bahasa, but uh, I do know that you wanted to actually measure the success uh, method, uh, especially in the digital uh, learning. Maybe could I actually invite Amil to actually speak through the mic, uh, you know, to share his question? Hello, thank you. I think you already mentioned the, the right uh, context. Yeah, I, I want to know how uh, if you de have uh, like um, uh, specific measurement to to monitor or to see how is the effect successful rate um, to uh, when you delivering the uh, your method like uh, learning or like the recruitment digital uh, modern uh, what is the simple Simple measurement, thank you. Okay. Okay, Karin, I will uh, answer this question. Sure, oh, okay. Tina. Okay, Karin. Okay, Mbak Amel, uh, we have um, various way to uh, measure the effectiveness of uh, digital learning. Yeah, uh, I will uh, answer for digital uh, learning for the digital recruitment, uh, my friend Arya will uh, answer it. So we have a uh, various way. First, uh, we always yeah, uh, do survey regularly to the, super, to, to the supervisor, whether the uh, courses or the certification have been implemented during uh, the, you know, the daily work, yeah. So there will be a survey, yeah. Uh, and the second one is in our digital learning itself, in our content, there is some assignment, yeah, and simulation inside. So uh, the the content, even though this is virtually or digital, so there will be a lecture, uh, let's say example, yeah, for the e-cornel. So there will be a lecture and trainer uh, that will answer uh, and evaluate your paperwork during the uh, courses. So uh, the quality of your understanding will evaluate from how you submit the uh, study case, the simulation, and also the paperwork that uh, gave during the course. Uh, and the uh, at the end of the program, then you will uh, also require to do project uh, assignment for the uh, certification. Uh, and we have the you know policies for that. We 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 are still implemented right now. But we do believe uh, with this we can uh, keep tracking the implementation of the effectiveness uh, our digital platform. And if you see the previous uh, slide and presentation, we also have the potential measurement and talent barometer. So from uh, that section, we also can 
check regularly whether the employees uh, have improved year to year yeah especially for their uh, for them who uh, already follow the course or digital platform or certification that uh, we have in our my learning i hope it can help you uh, and uh, the uh, the other way is we also evaluate it from the performance uh their yearly or quarterly or semester performance uh yeah because we do believe that uh knowledge need to uh you know uh apa ya? show in performance so knowledge uh, is one thing but how the knowledge becomes skill is uh, the other thing so we 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 evaluate it from performance so if there is a gap it means that our uh, learning program is not effective enough i hope uh, it can answer your question yeah amel and for yeah. the the hiring uh, technology platform uh, aria will uh, answer yeah Okay, Tina, thank you. So, um, Mbak Amel, uh, repeat your question about the uh, learning recruit about the recruitment, about the digital recruitment, you, you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello? Yes, yes, thank what you. What was your but, question about? Uh, um, yeah, sorry, the, same, the, same, the same question. How about in the digital recruitment uh, uh, method? It is the same or it is any uh, different? Um, uh, method uh, monitoring. Thank you. Thank you, Mbak. Okay, uh, but, mm. thank you, Mbak Amel, for your question. So, uh, for digital uh, recruitment, uh, it's the way to um, to make it uh, easier and um, seamless and uh, and contactless for the uh, candidate itself. So, how we can measure the effectiveness from that? Uh, because we are using AI, uh, artificial intelligence, so we are only uh, shortlisted the best candidates uh, based on uh, fit the requirements. So the, the platform the, will notify us who the one uh, candidate will, uh, will, will fit with our organization and they can also uh, doing the uh, prescriptive and descriptive about the candidate. Will the candidate will stay longer with us? Will the candidate uh, personality and values will 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 fit with our values? So, like kind of that uh, the working of the AI our recruitment. So, uh, it will uh, making our recruitment. Uh, it's a no hassle, and then we can do the sourcing is fastly. So we didn't like one to two or. Uh, three days after we receiving your uh, applications, we will contact you back. Once your applications is really match with our requirements, that's all. Is that uh, answering to your question, Amel? Thank you, Miss Arya, sama yang sebelumnya ya, Bu. Ini juga. Badina. 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 Yeah, yeah. My pleasure. Okay, move along, Karen. Oh, so we have the next any question, other, yes. I think. Yes, we do have actually quite yes. a lot here. Uh, the next question from uh, Odin uh, is about 50% successful uh, succession planning are from the internal, which she believes, and how do we actually build it? And what is the roadmap to ensure the second layer is ready for a leader in SMM or other businesses? Okay, maybe uh, I will answer first and later maybe my colleagues will add some information yes uh, this is uh, the i mean the challenging uh, target for us uh, to make sure that we fulfill the succession from the internal because we believe that uh, of course the internal our internal talent is the best one because they already fit with the culture they also know about the company and also they have the competency the point is how to prepare them yeah uh, we basically have um, program i mean the solid program even though from someone who joined from the fresh graduate step by step how they become uh, i mean like a first line of manager or even the middle manager senior manager until uh, to be leaders yeah i mean like a, uh, i mean chief but in the i mean in the small business unit we have all the roadmap 
we plan it in between five to ten years someone who join from the fresh graduate can be in that position but of course it's not be it, it cannot be run in the normal way yeah they have to join our program maybe if you remember the i mean the presentation from batina from the gdp i mean graduate diploma program after the program they have the project assignment a rotation to uh, i mean to the some company after that they join again for the second line of uh, development program with the project assignment and the rotation and so on and so on so after three to four i mean the program development program is actually someone if uh, we i mean we consider is uh, sufficient yeah, or fulfill with the uh, with the sufficient competency i mean to i mean to lead I mean, a company. Of course, this is start with the small company first. Uh, after they are successful in the small company, they will be, I mean, uh, promoted to the medium until in the big level. So it's all already in our uh, pipeline. And now we are, I mean, now we are in the progress to to manage all of some our talent to, I mean, to be in that position. Okay, maybe Mbak Tina will add some information. Okay, as additional, based on a Harvard Business Review Research 2013, we adopt the concept that we need to combine two practices. First is succession plan, and also the second one is leadership development. So in our company, we mix this, we combine this. So uh, the talent management will do mapping regularly to find out who is the successor, who is our talent. And then we are, uh, and we, from uh, learning, we'll deploy them a uh, comprehensive learning like uh, like uh, Widya mentioned. So we pre prepare the succession. Uh, this is the two thing that we believe will help us to fulfill the uh, leader needs. I hope it can answer uh, the question. Yeah. Okay. I will give uh, back to Karin. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, uh, Widya. Okay. Next question I do see from uh, Morao Wadi. Um, his question is about uh, the graduate program, uh, whether you will accept final year students like himself and is there any, um, he do see that actually there's global uh, mobility within uh, five different countries like Singapore, Australia, uh, Nigeria, South Korea and Indonesia. So is there any opportunity uh, that actually these companies actually are, uh, I would say actually the officers there are also actually recruiting uh, employees. Okay, maybe I will first answer. Thanks for the question yeah, from the Morawandi. Uh, global Talent Mobility Program is one is uh, of the, the interesting program in our company because not uh, basically for the local company like Indonesia, not all the company have this particular program. We have this program because we have plenty of uh, joint venture company in overseas. So we acquire many company in overseas like Australia, Singapore, even in Africa or China, Korea, and so on. So at that, uh, if we already acquire a company, of course we need to put uh, someone to represent uh, ourselves in, in in overseas. Also, in the same time, we open the opportunity for people from our office in the overseas to also learn about a uh, culture in uh, in our company in Indonesia. Okay, for the question is whether the fresh graduate can uh, join. The process is not uh, instantly for the fresh graduate. The fresh graduate normally will, I mean, will work in the our, uh, I mean, in the local Indonesian, Indonesia company for maybe few years uh, and become a talent. The, the requirement is you must become a talent to be, I mean, to be promoted, to be rotated in this program. Once you have become a talent, which is you have a good, pro, I mean, good uh, performance every year consistently, and also you do your project assignment and so on. After several years, the company or your superior will give a consideration or recommendation. Okay, this guy already a few years in the company and show the good performance, and they fit uh, he or she will fit for the I mean the opportunity for the I mean let's say for the exchange program or the for the full time uh, assignment in overseas. Then you will join the uh, global talent mobility program. So this is basically uh, the program for the talent yeah, after several years uh, joining the company. But you can start the process because the tagline is your future is start from now. Yeah? <laughs> not, not, not from later, but from now. Start from the, the time, the first day you join the company, that's the future the starting day. If you show the good performance, your, sorry, your future is unlimited. You can you become a CXO in the business unit or you become expatriate in overseas. 
yeah, it's uh, unlimited in our uh, company. Maybe Arya, Mbak Tina, may get some information. Okay, I will give some addition uh, for the explanation. Yeah, uh, beside the GTM, we also have various program like FADP. FADP is Financial Development Program Analyst. Uh, in this year, we will open one uh, batches. So uh, the requirement uh, for Singaporean uh, is. Uh, available for it to uh, position. So if you want to be a part of this program, no worries, you can apply uh, if you are fresh graduate because we are looking also for the, uh, our, you know, uh, let's say uh, subsidiary uh, in Singapore, we have uh, an office there. So, uh, so just apply to the link that, that Mbak Arya mentioned earlier. Uh, of course, but uh, this program is not GTM or Global Time Mobility, but uh, for FIDP, yeah, for uh, for this year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the sharing. Okay. So, uh, perhaps I can go on to the next questions. Um. Okay. So we have the next questions from uh Faisal. Uh. Okay. Thanks for encouragement first. Uh. So. Yep. Um. Then uh, he was asking, so uh, is there any internship programs that you will be actually uh, providing the students to develop their skills and prepare them to actually embark on all this program? So uh, he's asking whether is there any internship program, especially for the final year student? Uh, anyone can take this question? Okay, uh, I will uh, try to answer, uh, Karin. Uh, actually, for internship program, uh, we open only for particular uh, field, yeah, not a field, yeah, because there are uh, some, uh, you know, confidential data that we cannot share uh, related to uh, dissertation or your uh, final exam uh, in your college. But we are open for the internship uh, and uh, there are some especially for the technology yeah uh, currently we are focused on uh, gather some students from informatics uh, and if you uh, do your research in our company and you perform uh, good uh, so maybe you will select it uh, for the uh, you know we have technology incubator program uh, in uh, Near future, lah, yeah. Maybe uh, at the end of year, we, we we are looking also for a technology incubator program. Uh, so yes, we have it, but not uh, all fields. So if you want to know what's what a specific program study, uh, just uh, maybe reach out um uh, Arya uh, or me. We can see whether we can open uh, this opportunity for you. Okay, great to hear that actually cinemas also actually uh mining also actually provide internship program as well. Yeah. So uh perhaps I can actually go to the next questions. So uh we have one question from Hasia. Uh so she's uh, asking uh she's from psychologist major. So she's asking how to actually uh step on the career. There's a point about GDP. So uh she wants to find out like what kind of assignment that will be actually assigned during the GDP. And what are the challenge? Okay. We can take this question. Are you? Okay, I think it, it's a uh, Tina explanation before, but uh, Tina, you want to answer it or? Okay. I can answer it, uh, and maybe Arya uh, will add, I will um, add yeah. after. Okay. Uh, the project that uh, usually uh, we assign during the program is based on the, you know, the background, educational background. So uh, in psychology, we usually uh, will give them a project like, uh, you know, a field of HR, maybe digital uh, in uh, HR, like uh, maybe uh, like now we are transforming the digital pl uh, platform, whether in learning and also in hiring. So you can be a part of the team project. Yeah? And also uh, you also can be assigned with a specific project. Uh, like currently we have some project uh, engaged with a multinational um, consultants. So maybe you can be a part of that. Uh, 
and also uh, beside the project in GDP, we also uh, need to do day-to-day -day, uh, work, yeah. So it's depend on the time of the program, yeah. Previously, uh, our GDP from psychology developed a hiring platform and uh, designed the, you know, the uh, procedure for hiring and uh, give some uh, innovation in our hiring process. So it is an example from previous uh, batches uh, from psychology background. Maybe Arya uh, want to add some? Maybe Arya has a connection problem, but okay. I will give uh, some additional information. Basically, uh, as a development program, and it, any in any position, uh, even the graduate or even the middle, uh, you you will you need to spend more effort yeah, to finish or to complete all the all the all the tasks because beside your current uh, daily day to day job, you also have a project, and you must finish the project within the certain. Uh, period of time, you must coordinate with even not only in your direct reporting line, line you must coordinate with many function, a cross of your function. So this is the way how you are challenged here. Yeah? You are tested whether you are able to do, I mean, to collaborate with your uh, colleagues, your friend, with other department. But after you, I mean, you can perform this thing and then you present and, and review by your, I mean, by the team, yeah, by your superordinate, we know that, okay, you are you are good, you are, I mean, perform well. And then after that, you will get another challenge, another promotion or another opportunity to join with the, I mean, the, the, the next uh, development program. Okay, from Arya, anything to add? If not, we can go to the other uh, question, uh, Karin. Okay, uh, the next question is about internship again. I guess actually our student are really interested to actually join cinemas actually for an internship program. Uh, so this question is about uh, even you have an internship program, uh, are you open to all level of students? Uh, be it like say starting from year one, year two students. And also actually for this webinar, uh, I believe, uh, yes, the question uh, is whether this webinar focus on job seeker in um, uh, cinemas mining. So which means uh, there are some actually who join this actually webinar, uh, staff of uh, cinemas, whether you actually allow them to join this program as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Karin, and for the, uh, you know, uh, currently if you are looking for um, scholarship, actually uh, we have it, but uh, in relationship with our uh, institution, uh, we call it ITSB, but this is for local, uh, student yeah because the content will delivered in bahasa yeah this is uh, just for additional karen so if you are looking for scholarship in indonesia you can uh, check in our uh, website our instagram there is the info about scholarship yeah maybe is there any application deadline that you can shout out to the student present is there any like application deadline, like say as I'm, uh, like say uh, just now you mentioned about your scholarship program? Usually, yeah. it happen uh, during which period so that student can actually look out for you know uh, um, the programs that is upcoming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can maybe you you can open in wait. I will check first in our Instagram yeah? whether it have been past published or not. Uh, as students, uh, do you have any further questions? Uh, please, uh, feel free to actually uh, fill in, in the chat box. Uh, currently, uh, this is actually the last questions that uh, I have actually uh, saw in the chat box. So at the meantime, I just want to remind everyone about uh, to fill in actually the registration form that is shared by uh, Maria. Okay, uh, and there's one more actually link uh, to actually for you to fill up uh, your satisfaction about this event. So uh, please help to actually fill in uh, the link that's already shared in the chat box. Okay, I will uh, add some information. Uh, I mean, uh, we already informed about the social media. So it's not mining also 
uh, actively involved in the social media from the YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. Uh, we encourage all of you to I mean, to join with our social media because in every, social media every day we post something something new even though like the opportunity yeah, I mean job, even job opportunity even though internship or even like scholarship and everything so by following our social media you will get the latest information and you just instantly can I mean can participate there because normally there is a link you just click the link so you register in that in that program. So we really encourage you to join with us in the social media to get the daily updates in our company. Okay, thanks Pawidia for the sharing. So uh, we have come to the end actually for the Q&A. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to actually reach out to the team uh, via the social media platform. Uh, they'll be pleased to actually answer uh, your questions. Yeah, so before we actually end off the session, uh, can I actually just invite everyone to switch on your camera? Uh, perhaps we can actually take a group photo before we actually end off this session. So Adin, I will need your help to actually uh, do uh, the photo taking. Yes, Karin. Can you please count from 10? Okay, uh, perhaps I just count to three, I think should be enough. Okay, so uh, there's a few, few more. Uh, let's wait for them to actually switch on their camera. Okay, I hope everyone can just, you know, just switch on your camera for that few seconds. Just let, uh, let us take a quick photo shot. Okay, can I count one, two, three, and then uh, we will take the photo. Okay, a count of three. Uh, there's few of them who haven't actually switched on the camera. Yeah, perhaps, uh, shall we just go ahead with the photo taking? Okay. Okay, one, two, and three. Adin, do you manage to actually take the photo? Yes, already done. Okay, that's very good. Thank you, Adin. Okay, uh, that comes to an end of actually this afternoon webinar. Yeah, like what we said again, so uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, via the social media platforms that we have shared earlier. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to actually um, still chat, uh, use the chat box within these few seconds uh, before we actually close uh, the webinar. Yeah, so let me see. Uh, okay, so. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, thanks uh, Intan, no worries. Uh, yeah, uh, you couldn't actually open your video, no worries about it. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Okay, so we have come to the end of the session, so. Let me okay, pause it.